Hello and welcome to another episode of A Pint with Friends. This is going to be a speedy little episode. This is just a little quick taste test of some beers from Taiwan. Truth be told, I bought these beers a year ago, was supposed to have them, was supposed to do a podcast about it, kept delaying, then I forgot about it, and now just the other day I found them in the back of my pantry. Good times. I'm not expecting a lot from these beers. Uh, so I did the uh, fun little task of putting them outside. It is minus nine degrees outside Vancouver right now. And uh, I left these outside for the last two hours while I built some Lego. Uh, we're gonna get right into it right away. The first beer is called Taiwan Beer. What could be a better name than that? Uh, this says that it is a top fermented wheat beer with an abundance of yeast, blonde, and creamy. Yeast, blonde, and creamy. An abundance of those things. Something might have been lost in translation, but let's try the beer anyway. So Taiwan beer, this is the first time I've ever had Taiwanese beer. It looks great. It's naturally cloudy, as it says on the can. I can't read a lot of details on the can because um, I don't speak the language but I do know and like yeast. Mm. Wow, that is actually really great. It's super cold. Uh, so that's kind of my cheat on this. I didn't know how it was gonna taste. I might leave these out and come back to them a little bit later to see if the taste has changed. I imagine it might have, but uh, for right now, freezing cold beer on a chilly night in our apartment. Um, thank goodness I've got this sweater on. But it's good. It's actually quite good. I'm actually quite enjoying it. I'm going to go back for another sip. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how that develops over time. Uh, the second beer, one that I'm most excited about, Grape. It doesn't have a name other than Grape. Well, I was hoping actually that it would have some color to it and not just be beer color, like the first one. Uh, it's a little bit colored. It's not purple, which is nice. I expected it to be purple. It smells like freaking grape juice. Like it smells like like grape gum, like grape bubblicious is what it actually smells like. I could smell this all day. They should make grape cologne. That doesn't taste like beer. That tastes like grape drink. If you don't like beer, I'd recommend drinking this. I mean, it's not like, it's not beery in any way at all. It just literally is carbonated um, grape juice, but I don't hate it. It's 6.5% alcohol. Damn. Yeah. What was the first one? First one was. Oh, it's weird. 5%. I bet you later on this is horrible, but right now I'm actually kind of enjoying it. Uh, the next one in the mix here is mango also just called mango unless this is another name here but I, I don't know again if you know please tell me but the english translation on the can just says mango it says that it uh is flavored with uh mango so hence the name mango five percent alcohol five percent alcohol so far the um, grapes the strong the grape is tastiest and it's gonna get you drunk the fastest yeah i think so i'm very curious about that the color mm -hmm. and this is nice the smell smell the smell i know it's not a natural thing it's not real mangoes in here i'm positive of that because it didn't say mango flavored on the can but the scent is mango the scent is pretty awesome it does smell like a juice more than anything mm. again not beer like but not awful Probably really benefiting from the fact that it's below freezing temperature right now. Um, I can't. If this was this cold on like a summer day, the first the first three anyways, you would just you would just slam them back, and you would be very refreshed. And that might be the the goal of this. If you know if you if you know more information about this, I'd love to know. Tell me in the comments. But so far we're kind. It's 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 interesting. I don't hate it. That's a glowing. Yeah. What do you want to call it? Slogan. I was going back to the grape. It says yeah. brewed with uh, Taiwan tropical fruits from Taiwan. Mm. 
It's a lager. They're claiming it as a lager. Okay. A rich fruit fragrance. And they're not wrong. This f this fourth one is called Super Fresh Lager Beer, also just called Beer on the Can. Um, this one says that it's a double hops lager beer. Oh. I don't know why I said lager beer like that, but um, I already took a sip while you were talking. They all, I got the, distracted. The mango says that too. It says brew with Taiwan tropical fruits. No scent on this. I'm not smelling hops. It is, um, yeah, it's not coming across like an IPA in any way like that. So I guess it is just a double hopped lager. It, again, fine. Um, compared to the, the middle two, the grape and the mango, obviously no real flavor profile on here. It is just, just a lager and it's great. It's totally refreshing. I guess if I had to pick one that I want to like continue to drink, it might be the first one. The grape and the mango, super interesting. I remember, I, him, would, I remember them saying when we bought it that the Taiwan beer was their most popular. I can see it because mm -hmm. it's the most like beer. Mm -hmm. So that's good. It's got, it's a, it's got a good beer taste. It's got a nice yeast taste. It's not like yeast in a bad way. It's just tastes like beer. It, it, it is a refreshing taste. I'm surprised so I how like much that. you don't, don't dislike them. I'm actually shocked too. But again, I think the freezing coldness... Is either numbing my taste buds or masking a lot of potential off flavors that might be in there. Because again, these are a year old, so I really should buy some fresh runs and do this all again. But for the sake of science, why not? Try them. Freeze them. Drink them. Freeze them, drink them, try them. Freeze them, drink them, try them. That's their slogan. <laughs> um, so it's been about a half hour. Beers have been sitting out. This is the mango beer, so I'm just going to give it another try. It smells the same. Smells not gonna change because of temperature. It's losing something. It's a little bit more. Is there mango flavored cough syrup? Maybe, but that's it's starting to get more cough syrupy now. A little bit more uh, gross ish. So you have to drink it fast. You gotta pound them, drink them fast, chill them. What'd I say? Freeze them, chill them, pound them? Freeze them. Freeze them, pound them. Crush them. Yeah. So let's try the same thing with the grape. Again, about Ben, same half hour. I'm drinking this mere seconds after the mango. It's, 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 uh, it's not terrible. It's still actually holding. It's, it, partly the reason I think is because it's way, way sweeter. There must be more sugar in this. This was the one that was the highest for alcohol, a 6%. Uh, still fine. Still enjoying it. No problems. The grace. Let's give the it another hour. It. Let's give it another hour and see what happens. Ew. Might as well do the other two since I'm already here. This is the uh, lager, the the super fresh. More um, again, it's not the hops that is coming out. There is sort of like an like a little bit more. It doesn't have any of the flavoring to mask it, so it's it's starting to get a little bit off. Again, these beers are a year old, and who knows how long it took to travel to get here? Because a year ago, when these have been sitting on my shelf, it could have taken months because beer doesn't fly well. So beer tends to travel by boat. So this could have been six months old when it arrived here. Could have been. Don't know. <laughs> no reference points. Uh, to the to the main event here. Still good, nice and crisp. Again, let's give it more time. Okay, it has been about one hour since we left them. Beers are approaching room temperature. There's actually still quite some coolness to them all, but let's quickly try them. This will be the final test. Let's see how the flavors change over the course of the last hour. So that's the Taiwan beer, the basic, the one that is uh, the refreshing taste. It's not bad. Hasn't it's 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 not as good. It definitely was better when it was absolutely freezing cold. Grape. We're we're heading right to uh, cop syrup town. Yeah, not good anymore. Mango, awful. Awful. Finally. Last but not least. Lager. Ugh. Really lost a lot. Again, 
lousy beers, not saying these are lousy beers, but with this is why Budweiser and all that stuff, mass-produced beers, you got to drink them freezing cold and you're going to enjoy them a bit better. Now, I don't know really a lot about Taiwan beer at, at all, but uh, a quick Google search just told me that this is like the number one selling beer in Taiwan. It's a very, very strong brand in Taiwan. And they've actually won several awards. The grape beer actually came out in 2013 and the mango beer actually came out in 2012. So the moral of the story is here is what I want you to do is just to try new things because sometimes it does really, really great. Other times, not as much. But you should try new things. You should try more beer. Try more beer and stop drinking just the same thing all the time. Coors. Or Bud. Or Bud Light. Whatever. Just get out there. Try stuff. The world is full of beer. And some of it can come to your town. Thank you. Yeah, uh, quite, quite good. I would say if you're interested in, in, in trying these, uh, here in Vancouver, I actually got them in a liquor store in Richmond. Uh, it was great. I think I'll, you'll have to, I'll, I will have to look this again to see if there's more of these because I would definitely give these another try. A lot better than I thought they were going to yeah, be. Yeah, there, there was like a ton more flavors too. We just, was it really? We picked the most interesting ones. Grape. I've never seen a grape beer. And there's probably a reason for that because grapes themselves don't really have a, well, in the front, like a white grape doesn't have a lot of sense. Obviously, grapes are made, making wine. It makes well, they sense may have to just a dumped a bunch of grape flavoring in the beer. That's afterwards. exactly what it is. Yeah. It's all grape extracts. Same with the mango. They're, they're, it's more fun and it does cool say to try than anything Taiwan else. tropical fruits. So they may be using real fruits. I but it says Maybe. flavoring, though, is the key word. I don't think so, so. but we'll see. Yeah. But again, a lot better than I thought they were gonna than they were going to be. So uh, if you have any comments, please uh, write something in the comment. And uh, if you have any questions, please ask away. If you've had them, I'd love to know your thoughts. And and more information. I don't really know the background behind these beers. I just found them in a local local liquor store here. And they said that their audience that they have, their Taiwanese audience, just absolutely loves it. And I can see why, because they taste great and uh, they're quite enjoyable. And I think there's something here if you are somebody who loves beer or somebody that doesn't love beer but might like these other flavors. So share them with friends when you're able to. Thank you for watching, really appreciate it. And if you can, share a pint with friends. Thank you. I got this mug for, for Christmas from a, from a neighbor. I might pour all beers into here and drink them all. All together? I don't think I'll do that. No, that's a bad idea. <laughs>